Hey everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 5 at 6. I'm Rob Quirk. I'm Allison Zimmerman. Diane is on assignment. As our community heals from the Club Q shooting, a local artist is sharing a message of strength and support for the LGBTQ community. He's doing that through his artwork. There's a look at it right there. News 5's Ashley Portillo joining us live from the corner of Chestnut and Colorado Avenue with more about the piece and the message. Ashley? Yeah, so it was a local artist who spray painted this mural that I'm standing right next to. It is so big, it's so colorful. It says Club Q is strong, and underneath that message are the names of the five victims who lost their lives that night. The artist goes by the name of Hayes 164. His artwork is known in murals across the city. Those murals are just people can see him and go back to him and take the pictures and bring their friends and it, it really does bring the community together some. After the Club Q shooting, he's using his art to help heal the community and bring people together. So when you have something this tragic happen, I thought we could step it up and put the mural to show support. From what I could tell, the majority of the city is also devastated by what happened. And, uh, and you know, we're just all sad. These are our neighbors and friends that this happened to. His latest mural he created is on the Ultra Flat Black Gallery. It's a gallery and bar that he owns just west of I-25 in Old Colorado City. He says it was the right canvas for this message of love and support. We had to show love to the rainbow, so <laughs> I went to the store and bought every rainbow color I could, and we put it on the walls. In a time of darkness, Pays 164 wanted to bring some light and positive, colorful messages to the community. Different quotes within the names, you know, uh, uh, showing more support for the community and stuff like that. And, uh, and then, of course, using the actual Club Q logo so people knew. And while his art won't change what happened. It's a super sad situation. And uh, the mural's not going to solve any problems or nothing. He knows the healing power that art can have. Shine some light on the fact that they got support and this is not how our town should be, right? So that's pretty much what the mural was about for us. So Pays 164 is also known for his mural located outside of the Colorado Springs Police Department. He was able to paint that mural back in June of this year. When I spoke to him back then, he also mentioned that he's all about giving back to the community through his artwork, and that is exactly what he has done with this mural right here. For now, reporting in Colorado Springs, I'm Ashley Portillo, News 5.